Good morning. My name is Pascal Millian. I'm here with HBK. Hope you enjoy it. Good morning, guys. I'm here with Pascal Millian. Um, how are you doing this morning? You're all the way out here in Brooklyn. What makes what brings you here? Uh, good morning. Uh, let me tell you what. I'm here because uh, I love I love Brooklyn, and also I have family. I mean, I would say if I have family here and good friends here. So just coming by and visit and see my friends. Okay. Well, you see, I'm here in my my soccer outfit um <laughs> since you play professional soccer um i see that you landed your first um contract well contract with was tampa mm -hmm. tampa and now you're with ireland mm -hmm. um tell me about that well you know it's uh it's just after my my college i mean i graduated from university of tampa and uh, also i got drafted in mls and a uh, trade to uh uh, Tampa Bay Riders, and then uh, that was my first professional contract in 2010. And then uh, after two years there, and I was doing great, and um, and I want to go to I, I want to go to Ireland to slide go overs, and then I went there, and then you know do my thing again, and then you know a lot of a lot of good stuff happened in the past couple of years, and I'm just been grateful, you know. So that's a long last I would say let's say nice long journey I was there, you know, but you know I'm still going for more. Um, you're also doing a um, foundation. So tell me about that. Well, um, I'm just, just uh, after the earthquake in Haiti, you know, it was uh, really touching. But uh, before that, I have, you know, I was having mine. And um, let me say this, uh, the dream started a long time ago with the uh, my good friend Jeff Mimi, if you know, if people follow him on Instagram, and it was a pretty much a guy that I grew up with. When I was, I have a passion for the, you know, for football and then for kids, period. And I always try to help kids and want to be want to be a coach and anything like that. You know, back in the day, I have all my family, my cousin, the kids who live in my sh in my neighborhood, and I always try to help them. You know, because football is the number one sport in Haiti, so. And um, so that's how everything started when I moved to America and then I get my degree in sport management. And then, um, so I decided to, you know, after the health quit, and then it was like, oh, that's a good reason. And right before I signed my first professional contract, and I was like, listen, I want to do so. I want to start it now. That's a good time, a good opportunity to give back to, the, to where I'm from, to the country where I'm coming from. So, yeah, so I did, I um, mean, I get on it and uh, my great friend, was to help me out, make a website, and you know, do a couple things, and then also Tampa, where I was playing my first professional team, and back me up with it, and then so we just make it happen, you know. So it's just a long way to go, but we started the whole spot is to get started, and then we started now. So all we have to do is just keep it going, you know. All right, started from the bottom. Now we're here. Oh yes. <laughs> We've been doing a lot since, like I said, since two, since after the health quit in Haiti, 2010, and um, you know that's everything come from. Like I said, it's all about passion. It's about love. To be honest, for me, it's a, that's what I'm doing this, and I want to give back. You know, to the where I'm from. It's not only where I'm from. I'm going to give back to the kids who have the passion, who have the love, who want to become someone one day. You know, so that's what that's how the music music started because because um back in the day i used to be in school in haiti but uh, singing and rapping in the, in the classroom when the teacher is not there you know i was like you know that's how everything started and then and, um uh while i was working in the uh, i was in the foundation and then i just my mind was kept working i was like listen no i just i think there's another way i can send a message to the kids not only you know that not, not everybody I'm not the type of professional guy who's going to ignore people. Sometimes I do because some people are in a different level, you know. They always send you a message every five seconds for me. <laughs> but, listen, um, yeah, so I was trying to be friendly to everybody, to my friends, to the people who look up to me and, you know. Cause
today my album is uh, I mean my album been out and then sell a couple you know like I said we sell at least a thousand Yo Sezi Yo Sezi album you know so even though you're not, even though you're not Haitian, but you I am Haitian. My parents are Haitian. I was born here, but I am Haitian. Hence the name. But I know a lot of Haitians like from Haiti, born in Haiti. They're like, yo, you're not Haitian, but you know, I love Haiti. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not trying to say it like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to bring you. Up. But listen, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, it's just that I've been pretty much all in Creole, but you know, we have a couple songs. Is uh, only two songs, I believe. Is an English and an album, but um, like I said, everybody can listen to it. It's about it's music. <laughs> uh, typical workout before warming up before your big game. What do you do before my big game? I pray. That's my workout. I pray. Um, it's not even big game. It's before anything. I pray. I try to get in touch with God first. And to do whatever I'm gonna do to let me to guide me. That's my first practice. If I if I can do that, and if I think to to him spiritually, I I was like, okay, I'm ready. So right now, what do you have next? What are you doing? What well, um, right now, like, plenty. Like I said, I have a lot going on. Uh, like I said, um, I have a lot going on, but uh, you know, like I said, you gotta start it day by day to get where you want to be. Um, my main thing is uh, the foundation anniversary is always in December. We always got something going on in December. Past two years, we've been doing it in Haiti. Now we are from Leoga in Haiti. We have a lot of stuff going on for the kids, the kids tournament, and we have. Uh, we have like, like on a professional soccer player, like athletes pretty much. You don't have to be a soccer player. All the athletes and all the people who want to give back, who want to help me out, go to Haiti for like, you know, four or five days, you know, just have a good time with the kids. And um, that's my main thing. That's my best part of the year, to be honest, and, and able to see my family. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward for that. and. Even though this year, I mean, this time is going to be tougher because I have to travel, uh, of, I have to travel over uh, overseas for a couple of days. I mean, like I said, for a couple of weeks before I head back to Haiti. But um, we're going to make it happen because I, cause I have a staff down there who's working really, really hard. And I have my friend, like I said, Jeff, you know, a couple of people here in the States who's helped me out trying to get to make things happen this year for us again. Like I said, we're trying to bring you know professional athletes to Haiti and try to make the kids feel you know like they they have a future yeah exactly you know are you single am i <laughs> is he is he going to answer this question listen no nah, that's no shame to answer the question um what how can i say that <sighs> Is hurt. there? Like I said, I've been hurt before. Like I said, um, I'm trying to know what love. I'm trying to understand what what love is. To be honest, I'm trying. To, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. But listen, uh, what can I say? Um, I'm talking. Somebody, like, I'm, I'm. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Don't judge me now. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to somebody. It's not official, but like, like I said, um, um. I'm just like, uh, I'm just talking. I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm talking so much. It's like, not really, like I said, not really anything happened till it's happened. But like I said, um, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm open, but um, yeah, you, you you feel free to ask me any question if you like to be uh, going on a date with me. Um, you know, I'm the type of guy, you know, I like to know people. I like to know everybody, you know, so girls, you know, not like I'm messing on any, anything like that, but to get straight, I'm like to get to know people and you know just you know go on a date let's let's see this let's go go for for water you know what I mean um since you do a lot of things with the kids you have kids yourself mm, no it's not oh. yet not yet I'm waiting for the next for whoever's gonna be the next <laughs> oh okay
I'm trying to enjoy my time, trying to enjoy my, you know, my young age. Cause I'm by the time in the next two years I'll be thirty, you know. So it's time to. Thirty's not old. Thirty is not old. I'm not giving away my age, but thirty is not old. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know, you look like eighteen. You know what I mean? But uh, I look eight. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm not eighteen. I'm not eighteen. But I don't know. I'm say eighteen. It's probably seventeen. So <laughs> I don't want nobody. The cops will follow me. Say hey. How do you keep the ball be without falling? Like, that's hard. That's hard. I've seen your feet. Like, I'm like, yo, seriously, with sneakers. <laughs> well, listen, it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's practice every day. It's training. It's an habit. You know, you have to, you know, try to train every day to be the best you can be. That's what I said, to be the best you can be, to challenge yourself, you know. But um, it's, it's practice. I'm still learning. You're not going to believe that. I'm still learning. I'm, try I'm still trying to be the best I can be. You know? You've lost your mother at a young age. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Like, how did that, you know, kind of spark everything, you know? Um, it's tough. I mean, like I said, it's tough. We grew up without my mom. Um, I lost her when I was 10 years old. Um, she was a big part of my life, been growing up. and. I think she still looked down to me because everything I do, ev everything I do every day in my life, and I, after I say thank God, and I just say, "Mom, look, look, I mean, I'm out," you know. So, and she always gonna be the man, like inspirational, like it, like it's push me, you know, every day. Even though she's not here with me, and I still put her in my heart, like you know, I still go out there and do doing for her what she trying to do for my grandma for my sister but for my family pretty much in haiti and i take over everything she was doing and i help the family and i'm in a situation i do that but it's tough loss every time i talk about it <laughs> i want to cry but i'm trying not to but uh, Aww, like, i'm a crier don't do it <laughs> i'm trying not to but anyways it's tough you know If you want to follow me in, on on Twitter, is uh, uh, Mr. P. Milly, you know, or you can go on Facebook. Trust me, I'm a professional athlete, but I'm still get on Facebook, and that's how I communicate with a lot of people, you know. So sometimes they cannot talk to them over the phone. So I, you know, Instagram, and you know, you can just follow me, Casita14. And um, like I said, if you Google my name, you're going to find a lot of stuff going on, uh, what I'm doing. But like I said, if you follow me on those things, and of course, you're going to know uh, what is going on with me. And also for the foundation, you can go to milliondreams.com. You're going to see. I know your favorite color is light blue. <laughs> this uh, is yours. Yeah, you. So you can, you know, take it out and see, <laughs> see it. Well, you know, you just make me feel bad, you know. No, just, you know, try it on. See if it fits. <laughs> you know, it just make me feel bad because I should, I have the, well, is that like this? But I have my album, you know, I don't know why I was in a rush because I don't like to be late. You know, I don't like people say, hey, she's always late and everything. But I was <laughs> trying to be on time. But for some reason, wow, that's beautiful. Hmm. I like that. You see this? <laughs> Like Thank I say, every kid, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Like, you know, I'm glad I'm doing this and uh, I like the positive people. You're doing something amazing for, like I say, for Brooklyn, every Haitian in Brooklyn and everybody. Like I said, everybody's, you don't have to be Haitian. It's like all of us. No, we all exactly. One. Follow you know, we Pascal all Million on Instagram, Twitter, um, you know, Google him, watch his videos and support his album because it's for the kids. So we're going to say bye today so bye peace, peace love, love and, and knowledge. knowledge peace out and have a blessed day